Next, a local man narrowly escapes death on the St. John's Bridge. And the case of the boy who vanished from Oregon 22 years ago. Next. Electronic stability control and a 242 horsepower V6 are standard on the Santa Fe. Plus, right now, you can get $2,000 cash back. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive? Larry Wingett, best-selling author of your broke because you want to be? Take the money you'll save and pay down your credit card debt. Probably should. Did he just say probably? Definitely. Probably. The Hyundai Dollars and Cents sales event. Right now, get a 2008 Santa Fe with $2,000 cash back. Brett Favre and Dave stuck in an elevator. All new tonight. Local news for Portland, Southwest Washington, and all of Oregon. This is Coin U6 at 11. What happened to an Oregon boy who vanished 22 years ago? Tonight, is there a possible clue? Welcome, everyone, to Coin News 6 at 11. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Gianola. We will have the story of Jeremy Bright in just a few minutes. But first, the St. John's Bridge will be closed to at least midnight after an accident closes the bridge for hours tonight. It's a crash that could have turned deadly for one man. And he spoke to Coin News 6 tonight to tell his harrowing story. Coin News 6 reporter Joey Wignaga live near the St. John's Bridge with the victim's story of survival. Joel? And Jeff, he was nearly crushed to death. Imagine driving along this bridge when all of a sudden you begin to see a 10-ton semi begin to roll on top of you literally. Well, when you see this video, you, like police, will simply be amazed that this guy made it out alive. I think I was part laughing and part crying. And Seth Gross stands by the wreckage moments after nearly being crushed to death by this semi-truck. It looked like a scene out of a movie, like CGI, computer-generated effects. That's what it looked like. Only this was no fiction story. Tons of metal crushing Gross's now totaled Subaru. The semi overturned, spilling its load of scrap metal. I feel lucky. I feel really lucky. Gross was headed home on the St. John's Bridge this afternoon when he noticed this semi teetering on its side after hitting the curb. I uh, put the car in reverse. And I was like, I got to get out of the way. Call it instinct, call it reflex, or maybe a little bit of both. Gross then ran from his car within two seconds of sure death. At my reaction when I got out of the car, I just started laughing and being like, I cannot believe this just happened. I was full of adrenaline, I was excited. A second chance while re-examining his existence and calming jitters at this nearby watering hole. Uh, two police officers came up to me separately and an ODOT person came up to me and they all three told me, you're really lucky, buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. <laughs> and he did buy those lottery tickets, by the way. Back live along the St. John's Bridge tonight where you can see it is still closed and will be closed, we are told, until approximately midnight uh, tonight. In the meantime, that driver is identified as 57-year-old Denise Hawkins. She was cited for careless driving. Reporting live in North Portland, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin News 6. Thank you, Joel. And driving is getting more and more painful for everyone. Gas prices continue to climb in the Portland area. Tonight, the average price for a gallon of unleaded is $3.58, and that is up more than one cent since just yesterday.